Hi there, Scorpio. Welcome to Healing Guides Tarot. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And um, we're going to do your past, present, future, which and your person's past, present, future. Okay, let's see. What's going on? What was going on in your past? What happened here? Okay. I think you gave a lot to this person in the past and they didn't give back. And so you had to make a decision here and uh, you weren't sure what to do. Now here's this King of Cups. I think that's your energy. Could also be them. This could um, represent a Scorpio Pisces Cancer energy. Okay, yeah. So you worked really hard. You put a lot of, I think you put a lot of work and attention into this um, relationship. I don't think they did the same. It feels like they're, it wasn't even. And you're trying to make things even, so you're trying to figure out what to do. Let's see what happened to pass this person. Queen of Cups. Now you got the King and Queen of Cups, so they could, so you could be looking at each other as the counterpart, whether you're the King or the Queen, whichever way it is. So I think you're doing that to each other. And ah, commitment. Wow. Wow. Queen and King here. So this person did actually see you as King and Queen. A lot of loving, nurturing energy. And they they expected a long-term commitment with you. And they also, I think, saw you as a star. Their hopes, their dreams, their wishes come true. Okay, let's see what, clarify this. So why do we have the Six of Pentacles for you in the past? King of Wands. I'm thinking someone else came in here. You weren't getting enough attention from this person. They weren't given to you. So I think a King of Wands came in here. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And you gave, and they gave to you. So then you had to decide on the two of these people. One is pointing to the, that king, and they're both kings. Okay, let's see. Why do we have the two here? Oh, you have a lot of love here. A lot of emotions for both of them. Wow. This one. And here comes the Queen of Swords. So I think you had to cut one person out. And I think it was this person here. And they were... Wow, they really thought that you would be together. You were the wish fulfillment. I think you went with this other person here. At the bottom we have a Queen of Pentacles. Could be other people that came involved too. Between you guys too. And this could be your energy doing quite well with your work and and um yeah able to achieve things at your home and take a nice take care of a home okay let's see why is the queen of cups here for your person whoa yeah i think you broke their heart because you went with this other person third party situation okay what about this four of yeah, they're crying over this loss. This three cups lost three. Yeah, so it could be um, reverse. Let's see. What about this king of cups? Moved on fast from this. This person just left, I guess, or I don't know if you cut them out, or I think this person maybe found out about this other person. They left in a hurry. They said, I can't be dealing with this strength. We have the chariot cancer energy here and we have it took a lot of strength for them to leave too leo energy if that was a way now like i said it could be vice versa here so let's switch it if you need to okay now let's see what's presently happening with you a new beginnings coming in for you or is or are you starting something new at this time Aries, Aquarius, oop, this one, pop. okay, now this could be at a new company or organization, or it could be a new um, long-term commitment, a serious commitment here, Taurus energy, and looking to see what to do here, waiting for something, someone could be at a distance from you too, okay, we do have divine timing, destiny, we got the wheel of fortune here, okay, now, Let's see. So this was um, destiny for you to meet this person or this job or whatever's coming in for you. You're waiting for something, though. May you're waiting for 
the clarification or the um you know saying that you did get the job the death for a job at an organization it could be even in the government okay what is um happening with your person here okay they have moved away from something they might also be on vacation or traveling at this time or moving um the, the residence or where they work but they're moving away from something towards something else something better Ooh, it might be yeah, yeah something in the past some memories they're going towards someone back in the past now could it be you or could it be somebody else oh yeah they're not sure about this though they're not sure about giving this offer or taking an offer here because of this because of this because of this okay so we have the king of wands here popping up i think that's one who broke you guys up so why do we have a king of wands aries leo sagittarius on their side that's very interesting let's see may they're wondering about that person they're still around okay oh wait i gotta clarify what we do good thing i caught that one okay why do we have the full card here for you Ooh, there's a new beginning a commitment here marriage moving in with someone or maybe even starting a business something new is happening for you right now why do we have the harpent and this is um someone's coming in with an offer taurus virgo capricorn and you have the taurus for the hierophant here so very strong taurus someone might be coming in with an offer a gift proposal maybe okay why do we have this two wands and also finance there's a long-term commitment here for sure that's happening right now in your life it could also be finance if it's a business a job then it's going to pay well you're going to be um doing well with that if it's a a love interest then yes long-term commitment and pisces energy here seeing things in a different perspective you probably had to wait a long time for this but now it's coming in do this like this okay let me clarify this side why does this person have the six of swords here queen of wands okay we got the king and queen of wands could also be that you guys are both very attractive to each other Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or if they're attracted to someone here. Okay, why do we have the six of cups? Ooh. Yeah, there was an ending here, a very painful ending. They're, they're thinking back on the past on this painful ending. I think it was what you did. <laughs> okay, what about this four of cups? Ooh, the devil yeah there there there's a lot of pain here a lot of obsessing over this past of this pain they think about this a lot this they can't get away from this capricorn energy oh but there is a lot of passion here passion and desire this person still desires you they have a lot of passion for you even though you left them for somebody else or if it's the other way around feels more like you did but it could be reversed for some people okay now what's coming up in the future for you Scorpio Ooh, look at that so definitely there's long-term commitment finances everything looks like it's gonna be good for you that's a lot of happiness there Ooh, we got the devil <laughs> Capricorn could be with a Capricorn though could be just referencing that sign and this is a burden okay so what's coming in here you're getting rid of this burden and it's you're coming into your high priestess um energy here manifesting able to see and um things are hidden okay let's see what's going on in the future for your person what's coming in for your person got the nine of cups scorpio cancer pisces and there's competition here but this person stands out i don't know you might be coming in now with an offer to them and having the strength leo energy and the king of swords i think i don't know for some of you i think it some of you <laughs> some of you i think this might be you're you're coming um towards this person now and offering your cup but they're they're not sure if they want to do this 
and they're um they're standing in their strength because right here with the king of swords they might want to just cut this out that you know you got to come right now after what happened they were hurt they're not gonna um you know they really have a lot of feelings for you or it could be the reverse you could be they could be going towards you not knowing if you're going to accept them and how much competition you know i think they'll have a good chance it feels like with the energy let's see let's clarify why we have the ten, ten of pentacles for you oh knight of knight of cups you both have the knight of cups here then yes yeah, so i think you are wanting each other at this time wanting to get together having love for each other what about the devil searching here so now we have the hermit going deep and probably this person you could even be going through the dark night, night of the soul with the hermit trying to find out what's going on and trying to clear up things trying to heal yourself i think you're going in and trying to heal yourself there could be some kind of addiction or um some kind of toxic behavior that you're trying to heal by going deep within with the hermit the hermit's a healer teacher student okay what about this ten of wands whoa the burden of the past of this connection wow yeah you feel this deep connection with this person you guys could have been could be soulmates too could have been together in the past and we do have the full card here i think you want a new beginning with this person okay let's clarify their side why is the ten of cups here for them magician they're manifesting this in they're trying to get a new beginning with you in love. But they're not seeing everything as it is. They, they don't know how to approach you or how to do this. They they figure there's competition for your love. So they're not sure. Trying to make a decision how to do this. What about the strength card? Page of Wands. Yeah, they're going to make an offer though with the Page of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There are things hidden, but they do have a lot of emotions. It could be around um the new moon full moon that they do this a lot of emotions yeah so i think they're getting up the strength to talk to you to contact you somehow to, to start this again they're not i feel like they're not too sure about it but i think they're going with their heart hoping that it'll work all right so let's see what signs can you be dealing with scorpio cancer Sagittarius. Oop, oh, two king. Aries and Pisces. Virgo. And Gemini. So these are the signs you could be dealing with. This could be placements in your chart, their chart. Um, it could be other people around you, because you definitely have more people around here. And um, just take it as it resonates. Leave what doesn't. Please leave me comments. I love reading your comments. And I appreciate all your likes, your shares, your subscribes. And I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you.